Hey guys, what's up? This is Phantomet coming at you uh, with some information that might be very, very helpful for you. If you have decided that you were going to update to the new iOS 6 firmware update for Apple, uh, I know recently when this firmware came out yesterday, um, the upgrade was causing a lot of issues for you know iPhones, iPads, etc. Um, I did the updates as soon as 10 o'clock hit. Um, when I got the updates, I was updating two products, the iTouch 4 and also my iPad 3rd generation. The iPad, once it was upgraded, had no longer been able to connect to my Wi-Fi. Um, major problem for me because I wasn't able to use it at all uh, for internet. Um, iPad Touch connected with absolutely zero problems to my Netgear router. This is the router I have, Netgear. Um, it is the WGT624 version 3 model. Um, this uh, video here is specifically for this router. Um, the problem that we resolved, because as soon as the issue came out I went into the Apple forums and got my question up basically right here Am I the only one having iOS 6, iPad 3 Wi-Fi issues? Um, started that thread, and within 24 hours, I've got to say that everybody that jumped into that thread uh, talking about their routers, their settings, their problems, uh, we pretty much were able to break down what happened in regards to this particular router, the WGT624 version 3. The solution, straight out the bat, you need to downgrade your firmware. Um, you should be using firmware uh, 2.0.21. Um, you can easily do this by going into Netgear and downloading um, the older firmware. Go into their support and download section for your particular router if you have this one. It could work for other routers as well, but what I'm seeing with iOS 6 is that it's not compatible with a lot of different routers that are out there. So until they can resolve this, so far this is the workaround. Um, so to get started, you know, here basically, um, I'm going to put the links at the bottom of the YouTube page, uh, sending you to the information you need to get you to your download and your step-by-step -step instructions to do this. Um, and then from there, you should have absolutely no problems. So step one, obviously, it's going to be uh, going to Netgear and getting the older firmware, and then basically downloading that to your computer go into your router settings through your internet uh, I believe it's 192 actually it's right here 192.168.1.1 uh, gets you into your net, net your router setup um, I don't know if you can see that but basically um, once you're in there then you can go ahead and go into maintenance router upgrade and upgrade your firmware by picking the file where you downloaded it to and it'll downgrade it to that firmware. Once you have that, you should be able to connect your iPad. Before I would have the iPad up, but it just wouldn't um, join the network. It would read and detect the actual um, network, my Phantom 1 network, but before it was not wanting to join the network at all. So as you can see here, sorry, phone's a little blurry here. As you can see here, I'm on 6.0. And basically Wi-Fi, my Phantom 1 network, I have that set to auto okay and it finally detected everything so what I did is once I downgraded the firmware on the router went ahead and went into my Wi-Fi settings click on auto um, we'll go ahead and if you if your password protected enter your password for your network uh, you should you know hook up right away go into this click on auto and then basically what I did from there renew your lease go back into your settings and go over here to um, Safari and then go ahead and uh, clear your history and clear your cookies and data from that point once that's done you should be able to go right into your internet 
and you should have absolutely no problem connecting to anything. Uh, we'll just go here, Craigslist. See, there's Craigslist, eBay. Everything's connecting absolutely beautifully. New egg. There you go. So, that should resolve your problem, at least for the Netgear uh, WGT624 router. This is a workaround fix that is stable and it's working. We got it to you in 24 hours. So, for those of you that have those routers or other routers, maybe try downgrading your firmware. You know, if you have a different router, it might work for you. Um, those of you with iPhones, this will probably work for you too. So, um, there you go. Hope this works out, guys. Um, you know, leave comments if it works for you. If it doesn't, relate your experience, maybe what you're doing wrong. Hopefully, we can help you out. Um, if you're not in the Apple forums, I'd probably recommend going there and getting all the information you need there because, you know, obviously it helped, you know, putting the, the questions out there. Thanks. Have a good day.